Welcome back to the Crypto Labs YouTube channel. It feels so good to be back. I was on the road for three weeks. First day back in the office. I am in heaven. I love what we do. And today's video is not about crypto. So maybe you'll leave, maybe you won't. But to me, this is like, we were sharing this with clients this morning. Our fast track program just started today. And this is a part of what it is we do. And we just seem to attract people in the crypto and investment and the business world who are into this kind of work because they understand that no amount of success, no amount of money, no amount of anything is going to make them feel happy. The pursuit of happiness is such a cultural flaw. The pursuit of happiness, it's always right there. And I think it's so ridiculous. And I can 100% say that my success has been directly linked to what we're going to talk about in this video. And so I hope this helps you. And I'd love to hear your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Now, there's two sides of this. We could go into like an energetic, spiritual woo-woo plane. And I love that world. That's my background. That's what it is I do with clients at the end of the day. That's the, that's the work I love. Or we could just take it from a face value we live, we die, that it's black, no spirit, no God, no universe, I don't care. But no matter what side of the fence you're on or what your beliefs are, I think this is really important to think about and to apply into our lives. So I'm going to start here. I want to feel good. I think we all do. And I don't want external circumstances to dictate how I feel. An investment going bad, a coin dropping, a business deal going wrong, money being lost, someone saying something, doing something, the internet, Google, whatever that may be. I don't want anything to, I don't want to be a victim to external circumstances. That's why I don't watch the news. I don't have a TV. I, it's just, it's all garbage. It's all junk. I don't wake up in the morning and go on social media first thing because I'm letting external circumstances dictate how I feel. And on a deep level, I think we could all connect the dots that how we feel will dictate the life we live. It'll dictate the decisions we make. It'll dictate the investments we get into, how we pivot, how we shift. I see a lot of people, they're victim and they're controlled by external circumstances. When the market is red, they start selling, they start panicking. And those who can operate beyond the external circumstances make very different decisions. They get into projects when it's deep in the red. They don't let fear hold them back from getting into something new. And that has been my work for the last decade. And it's the work I continue to do on myself and also with clients members. I think that's what separates Crypto Labs from... It's either a good fit for someone and they're like, oh my God, my life is improving in every area. Or they're like, I just want the new project. And they typically don't last long in our communities because we go so much deeper than that. And and again, if someone's resistant to it, then I get it. It can just be like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. If whatever you're doing in your life and you're seeing massive success and money is rolling in and abundance is all around you and you're just so in awe of your life, then don't change anything. But if you're not, then just maybe we can be open to it. And so here's here's fundamentally what I wanted to bring up today. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know. I want to raise my vibration every single day, every morning, every afternoon, every evening. I want to go to bed excited for the opportunities of the next day. I want to wake up in the morning like I did today and just like, let's go. It's life. We get one shot at this thing. This isn't a rehearsal. There's no replays. And things are going to happen to us. Not everything's going to go our way. I still want to feel good. I want to feel good. And when we feel that, more comes our way. I think you've experienced that. You're having a great day. You go to the grocery store. Everyone, Some people talk to you. You meet this person. You get invited out. And it's just like, whoa. And you probably had it the other way. You had a bad day and then it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. And then you have a breakdown and then finally you decide to change. I, at one point in my life, was holding a shotgun to my head. That's how depressed and miserable I was. I was 25. Just bought a place. Had a brand new car, brand new Jeep. Had two motorcycles. Hated my job, hated my career, hated my life. 
You'd think I'd be happy. I was the complete opposite. That I've had times in my life where I didn't know how I was going to pay rent, and I was three days away from having to pay rent. That I am someone who pays rent on time. I am someone who, when I say I'm going to do something, I do something. But when I first got into business, it was like three days, and I'm like, oh, am I going to pay rent? And that was some of the happiest times in my life because I was going for it. I was going for it. I woke up excited for the potentials, for the opportunities. And I feel the same way with crypto. There are hundreds of opportunities around us. And a lot of people are living in fear and they'll never make the money they can make in this space. So what I wanted to do is, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave these questions in the co- uh, in the description below. So you can just read through them. When I feel my vibe drop, when my energy drops, when I'm a little bit like erp in fear, which is or 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 like shame to fear and anything in there is a very low vibration emotion that typically doesn't lead us to making empowered decisions, I go through this list of questions. Now some you may resonate with, some you may not. But all you need is five, six, ten of these. And you can start asking different questions. And the questions we ask dictate the quality of life we have. And most people are asking very disempowering questions. Why me? Why is this happening? Why is the government doing that? Why can't something change? Or asking very disempowering questions. We want to create a pattern in our lives where we're asking empowering questions. And it just becomes our habitual way of thinking, way of living, way of operating. And if we can do that, we'll take empowered action. We'll we'll, We'll actually move forward. We'll find the courage it takes to actually do things differently than the 99% of people do. I do not take advice from anybody unless, unless they're living a life at some capacity in a way that inspires me. 99% of people, I just don't take their advice. Are you living the life that I desire? No. Okay. Your advice is not relevant to me. 99% of people. God bless them, but they are working off outdated, I mean, not even outdated, they're working off the paradigm that's been set for us to be wage slaves and slaves to debt and slaves to a matrix that has been designed, and I just don't subscribe to that program, never have. Empowering questions. And so I'm going to leave these in the description. I'd, I'd love for you to go through some. Maybe there's two or three that really stand out to you. Could you start asking those questions on a daily basis? And every time my vibe drops, I just go through these questions. And usually within 10 minutes, I'm like on top of the world again. Because I have connected to something greater, something bigger, something empowering. And this negative spiral we fall into, you want to stop that as quick as you can and start getting back out of that puppy. I could talk about this stuff for hours. If you want more content like this, just let me know. I can literally do a series on this. I have seen people make millions of dollars and still be miserable. And I'm like, that is not the life I subscribe to. It's not worth it. You've probably experienced this. You've gotten what you wanted and you realize it didn't make you happy. What's the effing point? Can we operate in love? Can we operate in joy on a daily basis and create the life we want? And now you really enjoy the things you get. Because you're already a person who's enjoying life. That just adds, it just adds to it. If you think something on the external is going to make you happy, you are delusional. It won't. I know you know that. We just forget it. And I'm here to remind you. Really appreciate you. We've got some really awesome interviews with guests coming on. Um, We got so much planned for Crypto Labs and I've just been bubbling and in 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 anticipation for coming back and getting back into work. I was on a three-week motorcycle trip, basically, and I just got back late last night, like 1 a.m. type stuff. So excited for what's coming. Thank you for being a part of this. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you do want more content like this, do let me know. If you're not interested, that's fine. We'll stick to just crypto and DeFi. But in our community, this is, this is a lot of the work we do because this gets the result. You make much more empowering decisions upon your investments, your portfolio, what you invest in, your income, etc. And you get accelerated results. And I could go deep in this stuff when it comes to quantum and law of attraction and manifestation. That is my background. And I have used my own tools that I teach to create a life of abundance, a life of... I sometimes open my eyes. I was in Malibu a few days ago and I opened my eyes and I'm like, what? A dude from a trailer park who had a shotgun in his head? 
at 25 years old created this? What? It's so doable. And I have a passion for sharing it. So I hope this helped. What I will do is I will leave some more crypto DeFi related videos up here if that's of your savviness, your interest, if that tickles your fancy. And with that said, I'm going to get out of here. Happy to be back. Really excited to spend some time with you here on YouTube. If you haven't joined the Underdog Investor Group, do check it out and we can have these conversations all of the time on crypto DeFi projects. And I think it's my duty to ensure that people are creating a life that is exciting to them. And I think crypto and DeFi is a vehicle to accelerate that. And so that excites me. So anyway, if you're into that, I'll leave a link for the Underdog Investor Group below. And with that said, I'll talk soon. Peace.